When's the comedy on? <laughs> When's the comedy on? Really? What's your name, sir? Uh, I remember. <laughs> What's your name? David. David? Yeah. What's your favourite colour, David? Blue. Blue, okay. Seems like the fairest way to deal with you, David. There are so many things I could say. <laughs> Number between one and eight, David. Six. Six. Okay, and you said to me, when's the comedy on? <laughs> it says, if you want my comeback, you'll have to scrape it off your mum's teeth. <laughs> These things don't lie, David. These things don't lie. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. She swallowed the lot. <laughs> well, that brings me very neatly onto the next bit of material. Who here's got kids? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, was that? <laughs> what, sorry? Why, right, Jimmy? Is... What? What? <laughs> what was that? You chipped in with something. <laughs> Jimmy. You said go on, Jimmy. Yes. Oh, right, uh, ironically, slowing things down. <laughs> you often do that, just stop people in the street and go, on with, you, on with your day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was just, I just stopped you to tell you to continue. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what, sorry? <laughs> Tosser. Right. <laughs> just around, just toss up. <laughs> yeah, you know you're in fucking Glasgow, don't you? Where <laughs> someone pays you twenty two fifty to tell you to fuck off. <laughs> yes. I love your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Dad. It's the most annoying heckle that I get at gigs. I like it when people join in, I like a bit of a heckle and a bit of fun, but the most annoying one I get is when I've set up a joke, just about to do the punchline, and someone goes, so invariably it's the same thing, so it's, where's Alan? Where's Alan? It's not my, like, bet noir, it's just a bit annoying. Where's Alan? Where's Alan? <laughs> He's at your house fucking your dad. <laughs> I think we all knew, including him, I think we all knew that was a trap. I could feel you as one going, hold, hold, <laughs> hold. And then one brave soul over there said, no. <laughs> I'm taking one for the team. <laughs> or rather, your dad is. <laughs> I don't like it when the tabloids are homophobic, because they're such an important part of our culture, the tabloids. When they get it wrong, it sends a very bad message. Do you remember last year when they outed a footballer? Which is a terrible thing to do anyway. They outed this footballer, and in the course of the article where they outed this guy as a homosexual, they described consensual oral sex between two adults, yeah? So two fellas sucking each other off. <laughs> <laughs> they described that as a prank. <laughs> How demeaning to homosexuals is that? To have that act of lovemaking described as a prank. And it also doesn't work from the other point of view, because I like to think of myself as something of a prankster. <laughs> But I don't think I've ever said... <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> don't forget the balls! I... Bless you. You really do care. Where about are you from, sir? Where? You're from New York. Yeah. What are you doing over here? Do you mind me asking? I'm for work. I'm an angel you, you do something? You moved here for work? Yeah. What, what sort of work do you do? I mean, I'm not suggesting I need to see your papers, but... <laughs> What are you bringing to the party? Uh, finance and IT. Finance and IT? I can't really think what that is. Is that cash points? <laughs> Hang on, you're, you're looking at ATMs. <laughs> it's our language, you fucking ruined it. Next time you have a fight with someone, stop getting us involved. <laughs> <laughs> Go 
<laughs> you, you're getting blamed for everything. Go on, you can. If it weren't for us, we'd be speaking German. <laughs> Sorry, if it wasn't for you, we'd be speaking German. How little do you know about our language abilities? <laughs> There's no way we'd have picked it up in 60 years. <laughs> Speaking of which, did you all see that heartbreaking story in the Mirror newspaper last year? Yeah. They ran a campaign... <laughs> Are you showing off to the other children? <laughs> Are you pretending you can read? <laughs> By heartbreaking story, do you mean the tits on page three? <laughs> What, sorry? Welcome, fat, 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 fat. So I'm fine for fruit and veg, thank you. <laughs> I presume that's what he's talking about. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's nice that you're here, though. It's a night off for someone, isn't it? I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's one of Wittgenstein's theorems. <laughs> um, you'd suck off his mum. <laughs> He's done you. He has done you. I, I, I'm not from Perth, so I may never have to make that decision. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. You sound like you come from a very broken home. I'm not suggesting you fucked your mum, but only because you wouldn't want to two-time your sister. What's your favourite position? I like reverse cowgirl, but, you know, <laughs> I'm old-fashioned that way. Uh, what, what's yours, sir? Various, various. Various. <laughs> I think I can... I th match, eh? Pick and mix. Yeah, I imagine well, it's either that... <laughs> ..or that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe better, that, who knows? <laughs> Why do I laugh like a sexual predator? <laughs> I like the way that a sexual predator sounds better in your accent than any other. <laughs> a sexual predator. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I laugh like that. It's one of life's mysteries, in the same way as why are you dressed as a gay lumberjack. <laughs> we, we may never know. I like big, thick logs. Hmm. Yeah. How big's my cock? Well, I'm, I'm not sure whether your mother would be comfortable discussing it, but it's... What, sorry? Is that Buckfast? No, that's water. You've probably heard of it. Who's the most famous person I've ever met? Well, I, I once met her. Uh, the um, well, it's quite an impressive one. I don't want to show off, but you know, you know, you know, no, you know how villages have got idiots, yeah? <laughs> I met the idiot for the whole of Glasgow. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's, uh... <laughs> one of the biggest cunts in the world, yeah. <laughs> And you married him. <laughs> <laughs> that is, again, that will only happen in Glasgow. <laughs> you call someone a cunt and their wife goes, yep. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I do for a living. I think of little jokes in my head and then I tell them to you so that you'll like me. <laughs> Sounds a bit tragic when I say, <laughs> what was that, it's not working? <laughs> well, you can fuck off. <laughs> this is as good as it ever fucking goes. <laughs> I don't come to your work and knock the sailor's cocks out of your mouth, do I? <laughs> Where are you? It's not working, man. Give us a wave. Yeah, what do you do, sir? Telecoms. You, <laughs> you do telecoms? <laughs> what, what do you do? Do you...? I do you. I do you. <laughs> I do you telephone. <laughs> what, sorry? You build them in their work. Ironically, you work in communications and can hardly... <laughs> ..can hardly string a fucking sentence together. Hi, I'm Jimmy Carr, the guy you just saw in that video.
thanks for watching it because uh, somehow I get money from that. I, I don't know how. I don't, I don't know. But probably, probably it filters through some sort of advert that you watch before you watch the video, maybe. Or maybe you subscribed. Anyway, thanks for watching it. And somehow that benefits me. And hopefully I'll see you at a live show at some point further down the sunny road. Good luck.